meet friends. I get a lot of questions about um, what kind of equipment I'm taking, where I'm staying, so I thought I'd take a couple minutes and share a little bit from my kit and how I pack every morning. Uh, first of all, I start out with Osprey 38 liter backpack. It's, it's larger than a day pack, but it's not so large as if we're going off into some rural back country. Uh, it's just the right size for going from town to town, village to village, because I'm not gonna be camping, I'm not gonna be bringing a tent, and keeping it at a relatively small size of 38 liters uh, keeps me from the temptation of overpacking. It pretty much is able to just fit what I have here on the bed, and then maybe a few things on top if I stuff very uh, strategically. Minimal amount of clothing, very lightweight, easy to dry, uh, because it, every evening when I'm in a uh, hostel or a hotel or a, a, a church pilgrim um, hostel, then uh, my, my ability to wash clothes is limited, so everything has to dry really quick. Uh, in the morning, I put on socks, two layers of socks, and this is a sock liner. And uh, first thing I do though is put on foot powder because it helps absorb perspiration after a long day's hike. Your feet can get wet and that causes blisters. It creates an environment where blisters can, um, can come on really quick and that uh, that's really the big bane of any walker is blisters. So I'm trying to avoid that. Between the, the powder and the liners, uh, that helps reduce friction and reduces blisters. I also have a quick drying towel, uh, a knee brace because I'm having a little trouble in my left leg. Um, rain, rain gear going through France and England and through the Alps. Uh, there's going to be quite a bit of rain at times, so I'll have to don the rain gear. Um, dirty clothes basket. Every day I just take my clothes, throw it in here, and every day or two do a wash. Um, my very crucial, my pilgrim's passport. This gets stamped every day, either where I'm staying or a church that I visit. And then when I arrive in Rome, I'll be able to present this and receive my what's called a testimonium that I've completed the pilgrimage of the Via Frangigina all the way to Rome. Uh, on top of this here, the day pack in the evening. You don't want to take your backpack maybe out into the town or wherever I happen to be for the night. Going out to dinner, you can put valuables in here and, and just have a smaller pack to go during the day. Likewise, with my slip, uh, flip flops at the end of the day, you want to take off your hiking boots and uh, just let your feet breathe a little bit after walking 20, 30 kilometers a day. So flip flops come in handy. Um, I carry two of these for water. Uh, so it's a liter of water I carry every day. Probably when I get to Italy, I'm going to be carrying a fair bit more. It's going to be approaching 35 degrees in Italy when I walk through there late July, uh, beginning of August. So I probably need even more water. Uh, toiletries. Medical kits. Hopefully won't have to use this too much, but I do have primarily a blister treatment care in here, as well as some bandages and some antiseptics and a few other things in case of emergency. Some lightweight cutlery. If I'm out on the road and I need a knife and fork to eat with, as well as some high protein snacks. Uh, one of the questions I get often asked is sleeping bag. Do you carry a sleeping bag? I don't carry a sleeping bag because I will be going from kind of hostel to hostel or, or uh, church to church and, and usually a bed's provided, but what I do like to have is a sleeping bag liner. It's much smaller, much more lightweight, uh, very compact, doesn't take up near as much space as a sleeping bag would and I find that a sleeping bag is really not needed on this kind of trip. I think that's about it. That's not a whole lot. I'm able to get all of this into this.